just if conditions just not could not go from bad to worse over in Japan on top of the earthquake then the tsunami and then you have a nuclear reactor meltdown over there and now because of what they say the jet stream um, and, and of course the fallout or it ain't really no, so much as fallout because it's an actual just radiation that's in the air um, it, it could possibly hit if it, it not I don't trust news sources to ever be what you would call honest and upfront with us but I will tell you what you need to do if the United States come out of this thing unscathed did you hear me if we get by this with with minimum minimum casualties and minimal people getting thyroid cancer what you should do is immediately after they stockpile everything because I just went online we have a, a little small supply um, of it here um, but we don't have enough to carry I mean a whole bunch of people that's just for sure but as soon as this thing is over with I want everybody out there in the YouTube audience to look for some IOSAT IOSAT potassium iodate that saturates your thyroid um, with potassium and it insulates and that protects it because the thyroid is the, is the thing that gets hit and um, of course if your thyroid gets hit by nuclear radiation it's going to cause a lot of cancer so and I just got reports that they just took a ship of um, the US Navy crew who are already highly radioactive and they're moving right now I mean Japan is just going through and going under but hey we in the end times and this is just the beginning of it we ain't even see we have not yet seen the worst yet so I just thought I'd come in and chime in on this for a minute I'm still behind trying to return calls and answer all the emails that I get um, so just remember what I said <laughs>